Hi everyone, this is Erica, the Reference Librarian, here to assist you with research. This video will show you how to find scholarly peer-reviewed articles and how to submit an interlibrary loan request for articles you find in the library research databases that are not immediately available full text. From the Library Research and Help link, go to Course Specific Research Databases. Here you will find all of the research databases that you will use throughout the term. I'm going to use Criminal Justice Abstracts to demonstrate how to find scholarly peer-reviewed articles in our EBSCO databases. The tools and options I'm going to show you are specific to EBSCO databases, but you will find similar tools and options in most of the other databases as well. Okay, let's get started. Click on the link for Criminal Justice Abstracts with Full Text. From the original search screen, you have options for different search modes and ways to limit your results. Our task is to find scholarly peer-reviewed journals, so I'm going to select that option and leave all of the other options at the default settings. You'll notice there is an option to limit to full text. However, at the graduate level you'll want to review as much literature as possible, so leaving this unchecked will expand your research. We will review how to submit an interlibrary loan request for articles that are not available full text at the end of this video. Now we need to add some keywords. Addiction. Criminology and Addiction. I'm going to click Search. We have a fairly manageable list of results of 324 articles. You'll notice that the options to limit and sort your results are available here as well. For the first example, I'm going to review article number two, which is in fact a full text article. Click on the title to open the full item record, and here you'll see the complete bibliographic record that includes the author's source, document type, subject terms, abstract, and so on. The full text of the article is attached here as a PDF full text. But let's verify that the journal is in fact peer-reviewed. To do this, click on the journal title, and you'll see in the journal record that the peer-reviewed option does verify that this is a peer-reviewed journal and peer-reviewed article. From this page, you can also search within just this journal publication or by individual issues. But let's go back to the article. A couple other things to note are the tools options. Some functions such as print and email are pretty straightforward. One of the advanced features is to add to folder. This option is a great way to stay organized and save all of your EBSCO database research. And to do that, you would just click in the sign in option create a new account with your JWU email so that anytime you log into the EBSCO research databases, any article that you find, you would simply add to your folder and keep everything organized that way. The email option is a quick way to stay organized another way, and that is here. Simply add your email, subject, and any comments if you wish. You can also choose to include the APA citation. So that way, whoops, when your article is emailed to you, you'll have the APA citation organized in your inbox as well. You can also view the APA citation right here on the item record page. And here is the full APA citation, which would be the exact same one that they send you in the email. But use caution with any automated citation maker. EBSCO citations often include punctuation and capitalization errors, so make sure you reference an official APA manual for accuracy. Another tool is the export feature. The export manager allows you to export the article to a citation management system. The library now subscribes to EndNote if you'd like to go that route. That's it. That's how to find scholarly peer-reviewed articles in EBSCO. Now let's tackle interlibrary loan requests. Go back to the search results page and I'm going to scroll down to article number 5, which is not full text. Here you'll see the option to find the full text at JWU. When you click on that link, this, in just a second, will bring you to the full text article in another one of our research databases, Sage Journals. So in this case, I would not have to submit an interlibrary loan request because it does lead me to the full text article. However, there are instances when you click on this link and you will be taken to the JWU Library Full Text Finder. Now again, here is the full text link in Sage Journals, but if this, there are no options here for full text, you would want to choose the Interlibrary Loan Service option. 
and this will create the interlibrary loan request for you. All you need to do is add your email address, your full name as it appears on your JWU ID, and your library barcode in this field. Your library barcode is a number on your ID that begins with 251. Enter that full number here and then simply submit the request. The article will be emailed to you directly from the ILL department at the library, but please note delivery times vary so make sure you place your request as soon as possible. Don't wait until the last minute. That's all for now. As always, contact me anytime you have questions or need research assistance throughout the course. Good luck and happy researching!